coming up next on the shores of Key Biscayne in downtown Miami in this beautiful 75 degree weather where everybody else is freezing their butts off. I'm going to name my number one favorite fragrance purchase for 2019. Stay tuned. Welcome back everybody. This is Joel the Nose coming to you from the banks of Key Biscayne, Virginia Key, overlooking, that's downtown Miami, way back over there. I'm going to show you the sun is going down now. Okay, I don't want to blind everybody. But today, I'm going to do a quick video, okay? I wanted to do my favorite purchase for 2019. Now, my favorite purchase because it doesn't mean the favorite uh, fragrance released in 2019 or the best or whatever. This is my favorite purchase that I made and it's ones that I reviewed. So I'll also put up, I'll put up cards. What I've done is I've narrowed it down to two. If they want to make this a long video, I got a lot of fragrances this year, a lot of stuff I love, almost everything I got I love. Um, I'm not a person that collects hundreds of fragrances. I don't have anything like that. I review a fragrance almost every day. As you've seen, probably I do a lot of videos because I have access to my friend Maurice at Osme Perfumery here in Miami. He's more than generous, him and Babaka, to allow me to come in to review, um, you know, all the fragrances. You can see some boats going by, jet skis. Uh, so I have access to so many wonderful niche fragrances to review, but I only purchased a small amount. I have to love it. So. Without further ado, coming in at number two, and these were very close, and I'll be honest with you, I went back and forth on this, but coming in at number two, best overall purchase of 2019, L by Arquiste. As you can see the bottle there. Okay, from the American Niche House Arquiste, uh, I'll put up a card there. You've uh, maybe heard me describe this before. I love this house. I love their bottles. I love the design. I love everything about it. I love the backstories. I love L to me. This, by the way, came out in 2016. This is not a, a one of their newest releases. Actually, Misfit is their newest release I just uh, reviewed recently. But this to me is something, it's animalistic. I called a a dirty fougere, like an animalistic fougere or a barbershop, animalistic, dirty barbershop, like a sexy barbershop. Um, you know what, let me just, you guys can kind of see my smell. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm gonna spray right here on my forearm. So you guys can kind of just get a whiff. <laughs> Uh, it's got castorium, clary sage, geranium, it's got honey, patchouli, um, I'm just naming stuff that I remember. Uh, it's going to have lavender in there because of that barbershop fougere, but it's got that, it's got civet and castorium, which give it a kind of animalistic quality, and that's why I say a dirty barbershop fougere. This thing lasts all day, it projects, I get three, four hours of solid projection, and I get over 10 to 11 hours, 12 hours of, of longevity on my skin. So, unbelievable, very manly. Uh, you gotta be, you know, you gotta pull this off with confidence. This is a confidence man's alpha male fragrance. So, without further ado, coming in, at number one, my best purchase of 2019 is, can you see, can you tell, can you tell? Ta-da! Habdan from Parfums de Marly. What else can I say? This is a 2013 release. This is nothing new. I know a lot of people prefer um, Ojan. To me, this kills Ojan. This thing, and let me spray it, just so you can see me. And 
and again I'll kind of this time what I'll do is I'll spray on this okay all right we got the spray and so this is one of those fragrances for me that makes me happy when I smell this even if I'm just like say walk in my room and I just pick it up and I'm not even going to use it that day but I go look it makes me happy this generates happiness it is so unique it's I guess an oriental vanilla fragrance but it's almost gourmandish it's got apple um, it's got frankincense and myrrh which I love it's also got ambergris so this is also kind of animalistic clearly I I favor fragrances that have a little bit of that animist animalistic quality that more than just musk it's got to have not it doesn't have to, but I, I really like this with civet or amber castorium. And this has got that apple and it's spicy and it's woody and it reminds me of, I don't really know, just happiness. And it's so distinctive and it projects like a beast, like people smell it off me from a good couple feet away. Great projection. Again, great longevity over over 10 hours both of these this and l this is over 10 hours 10 to 12 hours of my skin and projection also up around the four hour mark so for me that's just wonderful performance so there you have it number two for the year l by artiste and number one parfums de mali habdan these are great fragrances, guys. If you haven't got your noses on them, try them. Let me know what you think. I know a lot of people have already tried these. Leave some comments below. Let me know what your favorite purchase fragrance, per favorite fragrance buy was for 2019. I'd love to hear it. And uh, if you've already subscribed, thank you very much. If you haven't, please consider subscribing. You can also ring the bell for notifications. And if you thought, thought this video was useful, please like the video. And uh, Hope everybody's having a great 2019 and I will see you guys soon with another video and I will leave you with one quick view as the sun is almost totally down now here in Miami. Stay warm, my friends.